Hi guys, how are you? Hope you are doing fine and that you are safe. As promised, I am doing now a video about my summer night scent, summer evening scent. If you haven't seen my summer daytime selection, I'm going to put a link uh, here or in uh, the description. And uh, please watch that video as well, <laughs> if you are interested. Let's just start. <laughs> Okay, my first selection, my first uh, perfume uh, that I'm planning to use during uh, summer evenings is uh, Ralph Lauren Woman Antons. This type of cute bottle. <laughs> uh, this is a very beautiful tuberose scent. It has a very beautiful combination of tuberose, white florals and vanilla. Um, it kind of resembles the old Pure Poison, even if they don't have that many notes in common, but it is a white floral. And that vanilla, I think it has some benzo in, it, in the base, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to put here, <laughs> um, if I'm mistaken. But um, it has a very warm base. And then you have in the beginning of bright, fresh, uh, playful tuberose. But the base that settles on your skin becomes warmer and um, more nighttime appropriate. Okay, it is not a dark scent, um, even if it is, you know, intense in a black bottle. I already talked about my white floral dark scents, uh, intense uh, black noir. <laughs> um, I might put the link to that video <laughs> in the description. But um, it is definitely a good uh, summertime uh, evening scent. It has good performance, but after a while I became anosmic to it. I don't know why, uh, it happens to me with white florals. My first choice. My second choice, it might surprise some. So I really like this scent, but um, I find it suitable for uh, spring summertime because of the notes but it is a heavy scent. So I can wear it, but during uh, evenings mostly, not uh, during that time, daytime. Sometimes also during daytime, but I'm kind of very self-aware <laughs> when I'm wearing it because I know others are considering to be uh, quite um, heavy scent. And um, sometimes this stops me, sometimes not. Anyway, let's not talk about this anymore. This is Amarige by Givenchy, uh, 90s uh, heat. This used to be so popular and I think it still is, especially here where I live. Please let me know if it used to be that popular in your country. So in the beginning you have that nuclear peach. <laughs> I seem to like peach in perfumery. I have a few perfumes with peach. I might do a video about that as well. So you have that ripe peach that it is a little bit to some too much, you know, a little too much peach, other fruits. This is a very happy scent in the beginning, but as it settles, uh, so it is a big white floral, okay? You have peach and then you have all the white florals, especially tuberose. Tuberose is the star here and it kind of, you know, takes the stage and uh, tuberose is the main star with peach. In the base, however, it becomes such a creamy, lovely sandalwood floor. So the sandalwood in here um, gives it, you know, depth, um, warmth, uh, all those things that you are looking when you want to have a very beautiful evening scent on. You know, you want something more than just a happy little scent, <laughs> at least uh, in my case. So this is a very beautiful choice for an evening in the summer. And then we have a um, happy scent. To me, a lot of people considering to be very dark, mysterious, only nighttime uh, <laughs> appropriate. However, I find it quite uh, enjoyable during daytime, but maybe in the summer, you know, in a warm um, summer day, it would be too much, even for me. So, yes, I would prefer to wear it during uh, summer nights, summer evenings. 
but um, it is definitely like a more happy, fresher scent to me. Not such a dark, mysterious scent, but anyway, okay, a good choice for me for summer evening. This is Tom Ford Jasmin Rouge. This was a very nice surprise because I heard a lot <laughs> of reviews, I heard, I've seen a lot of reviews that uh, this one has very bad performance, like four hours, very bad, it doesn't stay, it doesn't project, not in my case. And this is a good surprise because uh, usually <laughs> I buy perfumes that are so hyped and a lot of people are saying, oh, they, these are beast mode perfumes, but on my skin they are not. But this is not beastly, but uh, it performs quite well. It stays for eight hours on my skin. It uh, projects for at least four hours. And then it becomes, okay, more like a, a skin scent, but I don't mind. This is a beautiful combination of jasmine, ylang ylang, spiciness. It has a lot of spices. I don't get that much spices, but all the spices combined give it that extra something <laughs> that turns it into a nighttime uh, summer scent. And now to my most mysterious summer scents. My choice, my first choice is Dune. The current formulation, not the vintage one. That one, I find it a little bit too much for high heat. Maybe spring, uh, nights, not so much summer nights, but I might uh, change my mind after wearing it a few times. With this one I'm more familiar. And what can I say? This is a beautiful, woody, floral, oriental combination. I definitely feel some incense uh, notes, if if they are not in the description of Fragrantica. So this is a beautiful sandalwood, all the hides in the beginning, but then a beautiful smoky sandalwood to me, some florals, but not too much. Definitely a mysterious scent, very suitable for an evening in the summer. It has a summer vibe, okay, summer vibe to it. Uh, not just because of the name uh, Dune, uh, but uh, because we are thinking of Dune of Sands and Sands, we are thinking about summer, right? <laughs> At least I am thinking. But it has that beautiful smokiness, but a smoky airiness, if I'm making any sense. Um, the aldehydes are making it more airy and easy to wear, even in high heat. And it def definitely is a very original perfume. It is one that uh, not everybody is going to be wearing at the party where you are going. So please keep that in mind and to try it. And now my uh, odd choice. <laughs> I think some of you might raise a brow to this choice because uh, I don't know if for a lot of people this is easy to wear during uh, summer nights. But for me, kind of is. Portrait of a Lady Do by Dominique Ropion for Frédéric Mal collection. This introduced me, so not this, Porpora, but Porpora is a take, um, an interpretation of Portrait of a Lady, the original. So this type of scent introduced me to roses in perfumery. I was not a big fan of roses until I found this type of dark rose, spiced up rose, roses, patchouli, incense, cinnamon. But this one and Porpora also have some fruitiness to it. They have raspberry, black currant, so it has that beautiful dark tartness. And uh, yes, tartness is something that you can wear during summer nights, why not? Um, also a big plus uh, for uh, wearing this during uh, warmer weather is that I'm not a big fan uh, of the beginning of Portrait of Lady, I must admit. It has black currant in the beginning. And for in colder weather for 30-40 minutes, I'm a little bit struggling <laughs> with this one because black currant uh, it turns a little bit weird on my skin. It has a feeling like smelling urine. Sorry for saying that, but this is what black currant 
uh, turns on my skin. Um, it has like a whiny, you know, like fermented smell, kind of smell and a little bit of urine note. But you, uh, using this during summer, the top notes evaporate quickly, uh, more quickly. So <laughs> I am left with the uh, middle notes and the bass that I really enjoy. Uh, I'm left with the beautiful spiciness, with the tartness that comes from raspberries, and um, so cinnamon, raspberries, patchouli rose, incense. What more can you ask for to be dark and mysterious during a summer uh, night, summer evening event? Uh, I actually am planning to wear this to a few events that hopefully <laughs> are going to take place this uh, summer. And uh, yes, special events. This was my choice for summer uh, nighttime perfumes. Please let me know what are the perfumes that you are planning to use during summer nights. Uh, please let me know in the comments area. If you like this video, this video, sorry, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of my videos. Bye bye and stay safe.